Google just dropped a computer use AI agent that could literally control your browser for you, not click a button, not fill in a form, actually navigate websites, extract data, click through pages and complete multi-step tasks whilst you watch. And it's basically free to test right now with browser base. So if you never test this, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it, how to get started, etc. You can see that you get a free web browser for your AI agent. And it's basically free to test right now. So today I'm going to show you exactly how this works using browser base. We're also going to run through Retriever AI, which is another option. And you also got the Nano browser Chrome extension. And basically with this, you don't need to know how to code. You don't need to develop a background. You don't even need to be technical because I'm going to test all of this with you right now. I'm going to build a browser automation agent so can, for example, scrape leads, recently search competitors and even post content for you all hands-free even if you've never touched an automation tool in your life even if you think ai agent sounds complicated even if you've tried ai automation before and it felt overwhelming this is different because ai literally watches your screen and figures out what to do next so we're going to get straight into this and this is going to be using something i call the goldie browser agent framework this is a 30-day system to turn ai browser agents into your personal task workforce right and here's what most people don't understand about ai browser agents right so they're not just fancy clicking tools they're thinking tools and traditional automation says click this button then click that button browser agents say figure out what i'm trying to do and make it happen and that's the difference between a calculator and a brain and when i first heard about this i was pretty skeptical you know i've tested tools hundreds of tools at this point most of them are just hyped but this actually works and we're going to prove it to you right now all right so for example here we're going to take some examples of what we can build, right? And, you know, for example, we can go into Gemini browser here. And if we just wanted to go really simple, we could, for example, say, okay, what happened in the AI industry today, right? AI industry and AI news today, right? We'll hit run like so. This will actually start Google Gemini browser. You can switch between 2.5 flash, or you can use browser use as well. And basically this will just go off on the web start typing stuff out and then research it for you right so you can see here that it's beginning to do the task for us and then you can come back in a few minutes whilst this is working in the background and we're good to go on that all right another option that you actually have and this is a really cool resource as well is that you can use something called retriever.ai right and this can scrape automate monitor the web etc right really interesting and powerful to use so for example here you can install the chrome extension you'll see the chrome extension link at the top and whilst this ai agent on browser base is beginning to google for us what we can do is we can install this chrome extension and what this does is that it can search through the web it can use for example linkedin and everything else and we're good to go blue whale says you are always ahead thank you very much and we're going to go to our chrome extensions here and we're going to go to retriever ai right and you can see some previous stuff that we've done for example like yesterday we said navigate to linkedin search for julian goldie identify and navigate to the profile extract all the information let me show you an example Example of how that works right so if we click on the plus sign to start a new chat here then we're going to type in the same prompt just to show you an example we're going to click on start going to do that and now we've got two browser agents working at the same time because we have for example we have a gemini browser working in the background as you can see and then we can also for example use retriever ai as well right and bear in mind like these are not perfect right you can see the ai navigating the web right now using the web going off searching stuff etc right so you can see for example here it's actually navigating to linkedin and it shows you the steps and what you can use retriever ai for free up to a certain point a certain limit etc but you can see here how it's beginning to open up LinkedIn and start navigating around and working its magic, etc. Well, you can also go back to Gemini here inside browser base, right? And you can also, for example, say like play a game of 2048. And now we've got two AI agents, computer use agents working their magic. So we have the AI here playing around and, and working its magic here. So it's navigated to 2048. And then we also have the agent on the right hand side and that's using LinkedIn to search for Julian Goldie SEO. It's just navigating through the web. It's gone to my profile and we've just automated scraping my profile and lead generation, right? And so between Gemini browser base and Retriever AI, you've got most of the stuff covered. Now, another option that you have is that you can actually use something called Nano Browser, all right? So just to recap here, we've got two agents working in the background. We've got this agent playing 2488. We've got this agent going off and scraping my LinkedIn, as you can see. And then if we go to Nano Browser, this is open source AI web agent. So if we open up another Chrome extension, we can navigate to Nano Browser. Browser. With Nano Browser, all you do is you add in your API key, you plug in your API key here, which you can get a free one from Olama. You can also use Grok. Grok is another option as well. 
And then you can basically use this for all sorts of stuff. Now I'm going to delete that model, add a new provider. I'm just going to go with Gemini to keep it simple, but you could use, for example, Grok, your open router, you got a Llama, you have, for example, DeepSeek as well. So you can use some free APIs for this. And then if we go to, for example, Gemini, then we're going to go back to AI Studio, grab an API key, as you can see. We're going to grab this API key. We'll copy that. I'll have to delete it in a second because I've shown it on the video. And then we're going to click on save here. And now we just choose our models, right? I'm actually going to go with Flash just to make it easy. So Flash and Blash, speech to text, we'll use Flash as well, right? And now we've got our AI agent set up in Nano Browser as well, right? So to recap here, we've got Retriever AI, and it's scraping the information from my LinkedIn profile. We've got Gemini browser base, and that's playing 24-8 in the background, right? And then we've got Nano browser, and that's going to start working in a second too. So we've set this up, as you can see, ready to go. And then, for example, if we say, okay, go to chat GPT and talk about the meaning of life, right? That'll use a planner to start figuring out, okay, how do we do that, blah, blah, blah. And then just whilst I'm drinking my coffee, it's actually going to navigate to chat GPT and start talking about the meaning of life, all right? And so you've got three AI agents all using my browser, all working pretty nicely, as you can see today. And literally, this is all whilst I'm talking to you live. So it's pretty insane what you could do right here. I don't think most people know about this, but I love it, you know? And for example, we can see that we've got Nano browser working its magic. And yeah, this can just work in the background. So three browser use agents all working and all actually working perfectly as well. Now, whilst we're dealing with that, for example, and it's navigated to chat GPT and it's about to start talking about the meaning of life, you know, some people are going to say, well, do I need to know how to code to use browser automation? And AI agents just understand plain English. So you type in what you want in plain English over here, and then it goes off and does its magic, right? So if we go back to, for example, let's go back to Retriever, right? So Retriever has broken down the information, as you can see right here, from my LinkedIn profile where it did the search previously and found all this information, right? But yeah, you just type in plain English what you want. Now, some people say browser automation will break constantly and require maintenance. You know, AI agents tend to adapt to changes automatically because they see like humans do. So, you know, traditional automation is brittle. You record a series of clicks, the website changes one button, and then everything breaks, right? And, you know, I've had entire automation systems collapse because, you know, a company updated their login page, for example. But browser agents are different because they don't memorize click coordinates. They understand what they're looking at. So if a button moves, they find the new button. If a form changes, they read the new form. They adapt just like a human. Now, it can break. It's not perfect, right? Right? This is new technology, but you've seen how it works today and you can see that it can actually work and um, what's possible. And, and that's really what we're talking about today. All right. So you can also see here that actually references different tabs as you click around as well, which is pretty cool. So it gets context on what you're talking about and that sort of thing. Yeah. And that's basically how it works. So that's how to master Google computer agents. And you see in the resources, I've included all the links to access this. I've included an extra tutorial as well for you to learn this stuff. I've given you the Goldie browser agent framework. And then what I've also done here is I've included a 30 day plan with copy and pasteable prompts you can steal from me. So for example, if you wanted to learn this stuff, you can easily get it with the homework and everything else. So we've got homework for each day, the prompts you can use each day and the step-by-step -step instructions for this 30 day plan. And then for example, you know, if you wanted to do something like this, you can just open up a new tab. So let's say, for example, if we go to, I have to delete this key now. If you go to this one, for example, with like your research assistant, go to Google, search for the best AI tools, blah, blah, blah. And we ask for it to do that. It's just going to go off and do that in the Agenta tab, right? And it actually labels it as an Agenta tab in the background, right? I actually think the Retrieve AI is better than pretty much all the options out there right now that I've tested, just because it breaks less and it seems to be more autonomous, right? So you can see in the background here, it's actually Googling the best AI tools for small businesses whilst I show you something else on the screen, which I like, you know, it just works in the background, it just works. And then what I actually wanna do is just run through some more limiting beliefs that might be holding you back when it comes to using this stuff, all right? So these are the new empowering beliefs you need to win with AI agents. So one thing that I'll say as well, is that some people would say like this will take forever to learn and set up, but you can run your first browser agent task within five minutes, you know, and I test every AI tool live with my audience, like no real scripts, no pre-recording, just real testing in real time. As you can see right here, it's actually plugging this information into a Google Sheet, which is pretty nice. But if we go back to the tab here, we're going to say, and browser agents is some of the fastest tools to get working with this stuff. Because you just install an extension, click a button, type what you want, watch your work, and that's literally it, right? And the 30-day framework I gave you isn't because the setup takes 30 days. The setup takes for five minutes. The 30 days is really about building a complete system, getting sophisticated, getting leverage. But if you just want to try it, you know, five minutes, go do it right now. Right? That's basically how it works. So... 
If you want to get all the notes from today, plus 100 prompts, plus a 30-day plan, plus a framework, plus all the links from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. This is a completely free community. You can get access to a community with 42,900 members. As you can see, you can access all the posts inside the community. If you go to the classroom here and then just go to January 2026, new automations, you'll get all the video notes from today. And the agent is still working in the background. It's pretty funny. So you can see here, it's like just going off and Google and stuff. I'm actually going to stop that and cancel that because... Uh, it's, it's taking over. And then if you want to get access to myself, you know, my support, my help, if you want to get, for example, access to a community of 2000 serious AI builders, you can get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This is an amazing community where we post, we share, we learn, we grow together, we share our wins and everything else. And inside the community here, you'll get an accountability system. So each day we have an accountability check-in where you can post your goals, get help, get support whenever you need it. Also inside here, you can post your questions, get help, support, you can share your wins. I mean, if we have a look at the win section here you can see what people are building for example like sandra says feeling very accomplished right great way to end my week just installed na10 on my desktop and i'm working with the chat to secure it I had to change dns blah, blah blah but you know she got started with na10 and she's like, like building out her first websites and all that sort of thing you know you've got for example vladimir who actually set up a new product hunt SaaS tool, which is pretty insane, right? And he reached like number 22, which is pretty amazing as well in product hunt. You know, Christina built a first make automation. Like people are just winning with stuff. And if you want to be part of that, join the AI Profit Boarding, which is just an insane community where we all just share and learn and grow together. Also inside the calendar here, you can jump on the coaching course. We have four coaching calls per week with a PhD trained scientist on AI, right? So you can jump on those coaching calls, get help, get support and ask any questions, plus meet the community on those calls. And then inside the classroom here you can get access to all my best playbooks so for example if you want to go from beginner to expert in ai in five weeks you can do that we we'll also show you how to build your first ai agent in under five minutes we additionally give you this playbook and inside this playbook right we show you all the best stuff that i use for my business so for example how i automate twitter newsletters shorts AI avatar videos, it's all inside the classroom here. And additionally, on top of that, you'll get access to my best trainers on NA10, agency trainings on how to get more clients, AI SEO automations, YouTube AI. If you want to grow a school community, we actually have a full training module on how to grow a school community yourself as well. So it's all inside the AI Profit Boarding. Feel free to get it, link in the description, or just go to AIProfitBoarding.com. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Cheers, peeps. Bye-bye.